everyone, it's me, Crafty Witch, and welcome back to my witchcraft series. I received an email from someone who is male, um, and they're new to paganism and, and, and witchcraft and stuff like this, and they were just wondering um, about whether or not witchcraft was created just for women. Um, and with the goddess and, and all that stuff and they're just starting to question things and they're getting or feeling kind of confused and and whatnot so this is just my opinion um i i think it would be great if you had a, a male perspective from another male witch uh, but you're just gonna have to settle for me tonight i guess however for my male subscribers out there who happen to be witches or pagans or wiccans or whatever if you want to do a video response to this that would be awesome and um, really uh, great I think so that we could get a male perspective on this topic personally I don't think that this uh, religion or spiritual path or anything like that with regards to witchcraft in general was created specifically just for women and uh, you will find that perhaps there are a lot of women um, that are you know pagan and whatnot however there's a lot of men too you know I, I don't know what the statistics would be male versus female and really that's really besides the point uh, your gender has really nothing to do with your spiritual path that you're choosing for yourself I don't think it does in my opinion uh, your spirit is spirit so I don't know it's really interesting uh, for me to try to answer this because I never grew up in a um, <laughs> in a real like in a patriarchal culture uh, you know North America and other parts of the world in general are patriarchal in general okay of course there are exceptions but I grew up in a very strong matriarchal culture as well as a matriarchal family that was within that culture and I'm talking about the Korean the Ojibwe people here whereas a lot of people they can only read about what it was like for their ancestors if they ever had um, matriarchal ancestors and matriarchal cultures going back prior to say Christianity spreading throughout Europe and whatnot because there is evidence that it was you know matriarchal in some regard and whatnot and uh, you know women were treated like equals and, and whatnot and revered and, and things like that so I'm going to talk about just from kind of my perspective and how we, or I grew up, how my family is and, and whatnot, and my kids are, and because they're male. While there is a, you know, acknowledgement of the divine feminine, whether you want to call it Mother Earth or Goddess or whatever is up to you, there is also the acknowledgement of the divine masculine. And we do honor our men and we do honor the, the male aspect of divinity just as we do we see it connected and intertwined with each other and yet they can be separate is that <laughs> make sense it's kind of like a braid okay when you think about a braid right you got your three aspects you know and they can intertwine you know and yet, you got your your divine feminine, your divine masculine, and then unity, right? Um, we do honor our men. They traditionally were for us our hunters, our you know protectors, and our warriors and, and things like that. We also had female warriors. Uh, we had you know our both were very much revered and acknowledged more so women because of being able to carry life inside of you for nine months and in our belief we believe that when you are pregnant uh, 
you have the gift and the ability to carry not only within your body your own soul but also the soul of your unborn baby and that's a very unique gift that men will never unfortunately be able to experience what that is like that's just our belief some people don't believe you have a soul until you take your first breath blah 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 um, so there is that connection in realizing that it is through the female that life is born with the help of the man of course and uh, our men were you know like I said our hunters are protectors and our warriors and, and things like that so growing up in that kind of culture and then witnessing a patriarchal society of say North America in general or other parts of the world where people grow up and it's very male dominated and women really are disempowered I can very well understand when women come across a spirituality such as this and flock to it. I could totally get that. Anybody who feels disempowered, I can understand them being pulled towards something that is accepting of them and empowers them as women, as men, gay, straight, doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a very empowering belief system. So I can understand that aspect of it. Uh, but to say that it was created just for women, no, I don't believe so at all. And it's good that you are questioning and asking these types of questions because it shows that you're thinking about your path and you're really contemplating. And if you're not sure, that's okay. What I would recommend would be, you know, never mind what everybody else is saying. Don't pay attention about how many men or women are, you know, living this life and, and whatnot. Because regardless what spiritual path you choose for yourself, whether it's Christian, pagan, Buddhist, whatever, only you can walk your own path. Nobody else can walk it for you and nobody else can believe for you and have faith for you and develop your own connection to divinity no matter what you envision divinity to be or what names you want to give it or anything like that so you need to really look within yourself what was it that drew you to this in the first place what appealed to you what do you like about it what touched you inside you need to ask yourself those questions and then you need to ask yourself what changed you know what was it that all of a sudden now you think it's only for women is it because you notice that there's a lot of female witches out there um, these again are only questions that only you can answer and you need to realize as well that usually spiritual belief systems and religion and that type of thing usually are inviting of both male and female practitioners like it doesn't really matter um, one way or the other kind of thing what your gender is usually okay um, there's male and female and everything so again I really think that you need to look within yourself you need to take some time to really find the answers inside of yourself. What brought you to this in the first place? What that? What was it that attracted you? What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? And if this path isn't for you, you know what? That is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We aren't all meant to be on this path. That's why we have so many different spirituality beliefs out there and so many different religions out there. We are all different and we are all spiritually evolving differently hence all the differences and there's nothing wrong with that that's okay regardless what path you choose but nobody can walk that path for you and it doesn't matter if there's lots of men or lots of women in a particular path what matters is what feels right for you what's true for you so I hope that has helped a little bit and uh, I'm running out of time here, so I gotta cut it short. So much love to everybody. Ciao.